Hi everyone. Today we will learn about so an application. We will select equipment. Now we will go to equipment zone, equipment site. Then under that choose. Now we want to create new equipment. So we will specify the type of equipment. We will go here. We will say create equipment. This form will open. We will give equipment name we will give the position of the equipment Here we will we can fill and function design codes trend whatever as per the project requirement. Then we will press OK. Once we press OK, equipment the equipment has been created. Now under the equipment we will create the equipment has been divided into several parts like body, nozzle, supports. So for in this case, we will create different different sub equipment. Like first one we will create D1259 dash body. We will say OK. Now our equipment will be in horizontal position. So we will create primitive first. Primitive. required a cylinder so we will select the cylinder cylinder height we will define as 8 meter means 10 to 10 length and dia is 2500 now we will say create the cylinder has been created we see it is a vertical up. Now we required in east west direction. So we will we have to rotate it. So here below there is an option rotate option. We will come here and we will say 90 degree. and we will rotate about y first we will see what it shows the changes so it has been rotated in this direction now we will say next after clicking next we again get the option you know, for primitives for creating primitives now we require the descent so we will 
click this piece as we know the diameter of the uh, vessel is 2500 so we will give 2500 and radius we will give 200 and height uh, there is a thumb room for uh, the disc it should be one fourth of the diameter so we will type here Six twenty five. Six twenty five. We will say create. If you see, we will press F eleven. Has been created in this. Now again we have to rotate it, rotate, we will try this, rotate, now align with P point, with P point, we will select here, this dish will move here. Now we will press again F11. Now again we will say rotate, rotate. So you see the dish has been created, one side. Now we want to make the mirror of this dish. So we will go to home. We will say copy mirror. Now I will select the cursor element. Okay. Now I will again press F11. Now it will make a mirror. If I change this, not see. So east is the correct. So I will type here east mirror copy apply. So yes, cancel. Now I will press F11. Now, if we stand on the equipment and we will say this at C E, so it shows that the equipment origin point is the center of this equipment. Now we want to shift this origin towards this end. So we will go to equipment menu, there is an option origin, in origin equipment ID point, so we will select here and we will say return to initial origin, no, then we will say access at CE, now the origin has come here. So, it should be done before only, after creating uh, this cylinder, but we can change it later on also. Now we will, now we need to create the support, means saddle. Uh, it depends on to, on individual uh, user, whether they, he create fixed saddle, sub equipment and uh, uh, what we say, uh, sliding saddle, different, different sub equipment. But for, for right now, we will create in one sub equipment all, only. So I will click here, create sub equipment.
and I will say okay now I have to create a saddle again I will go to limiting now saddle is, should look like a box so through box command now I have to create if you see the parameter if you click here parameter this this box this primitives how it will look like it will open so we will provide x length now we know the diameter of this uh, uh, vessel 2500 so i will type 2500 right now at the beginning y length 300 half of this diameter so thousand five hundred divided by two plus five hundred fold. So height will be seventeen fifty. I will type here one seven five zero and I will say create now if you see this box now we have moved the origin over here earlier uh, all our other primitives this dish were created at the center now we have uh, made uh, we have shifted our origin to this uh, this tangent line so our uh, this primitive have, have, has been created on on this origin now we have to rotate it Okay. And we will say next. Once we have shifted over here, now we have to move it down. So, as we know, we have calculated total length. Height is 1750 divided by 2. So I will type here, I will try this by down 1875 with respect to world. Now this support has been moved at the at the accurate manner. Now we can now if I want to modify this primitive, I will I can just double click it. Sorry, right click, edit primitives. Now now I have like as I told earlier that. E3D is the combination of AutoCAD. So why I said like that? Because in this we have a stretch option they have introduced in E3D. Uh, because in earlier PDMS it does not have that facilities. So if we see we can stretch this box. This box how much we want. 
so we can stretch it as as much as we want or by command line also we can modify the box so i press escape double two time escape you will come outside the command line of that now i have to move this box towards something 1 meter of away, away from can line so i will type by west 1 meter now again i need required another support so i will type here new box copy previous by west 6 meter with respect to world now we have prepared basic equipment now we need to provide the nozzle so we will come here and we will select here nozzle sorry first we will create some equipment will say okay now want to create the nozzle on this equipment so i will click here i will type nozzle name and then i will select which type nozzle and see now i am selecting nc nozzle then in nc we have option like rating wise 150 300 so and so on 600 900 so i right now i will select 300 rating i will select the bore of 6 inch high now height height depends the uh, the the half od of vessel plus how much projection we require so basically we uh, half od is 1250 as our our the dia, dia of the vessel is 250 and if you want to confirm it we will select the this no, uh, vessel and right click edit primitive here we will select this and we will say primitive and in command line we will type curie dia so it shows that diameter is 2500 meter uh, uh, 2500 mm now in this we can use calculator also if we want to no half od of this we can type q 2500 space 
divide by space 2 so this is the answer now we will come out by pressing two time escape and again we will stand on nozzle sub equipment nozzle and we will say 1250 now read 1250 plus 300 1550 so we will come to nozzle and we required height of 1550 and You want to put all the description pressure you can put it on or you leave, leave as it is now we will say create this nozzle has been created in this direction we will press F11 it is coming in this direction now we will go to rotate 90 degree It has been rotated towards up. Now we have to move the nozzle up. So double click on this and I will type by up. With respect to Now, next. Now, this nozzle has to be moved from here from towards west 300. So, in command line, I will type by west 300 with respect to world. Now, as now we have already created one nozzle now you required number of nozzle over here so what we will do in short form we will select this nozzle we will copy this nozzle and the and later on we will modify the size the bore of the nozzle and we can modify the uh, sp ref of the nozzle so i will show you one example for example, I required the second nozzle of 8 inch and that will be of 150 pound. So what I will do, I will co copy this nozzle. So I will type in command line, new nose copy previous by west 350 with respect to world now I want to change the specification of this nozzle and the uh, rating of this nozzle so here there is a modification and I will type select here nozzle this the this form will will open I will give the name D one two five and two now I want one fifty rating and eight inch just say next 
so this nozzle has been modified and nozzle name also has been updated now if i want to check i will type curie attribute so in this way now you are see rotating 90 degree and board is or you can type curie p1 200 with a now again i want to copy i want one nozzle horizontally in this direction but of 3 inch so i will copy new but the location will be the same so i will copy new nozzle now i want to rotate now the nozzle has been created at this location only i will go here modify nozzle i will type i i need 300 3 inch size height will be the same and i will say next now there is a command here rotate i will select here advance and then i will in advance this form will open and i will select element okay i will say 90 degree and i will say apply again i can say apply apply now if i want to move now if i want to move this nozzle up like this is the nozzle for uh, what we say instrument connection now i have to move this nozzle up over here so by in command line i will type by up one meter and then i i will type in command i will copy previous by down 2 meter this is the basic element equipment so i have 
I will show you one more thing. Now I will remove this equipment. In equipment, there is a, some equi standard equipment also available. This form will open. Now I need journal forms. I will go here. Sorry, Aviva standard equipment. In this, there are different different type of equipments available. For example, standard uh, exchanger, flange both end, bridge both end, whatever we require. You select here property. We can change the value over here as per our requirement and we will say apply. See, equipment has been inserted. We, as I told, we can change the value over here. But basically we avoid using this equipment because as per our project requirement sometimes it is not sufficient to have such we have to use such equipment this is for just information now if i show you air cooler air cooler see sometimes the shapes are for our air cooler is different pump if you see this is the pump diaphragm vertical pump Centrifugal pump. So, in this way, we can create the equipment. Thank you all.